The fabric of Army ceremonial music performance is woven with threads of knowledge, perfection, spirit, tradition, and dedication. This program of instruction demonstrates adaptations that conform to the most common Army music ceremonial practices. Individual mastery of ceremonial marching provides a firm foundation for delivering a collective performance that reflects a commitment to perfection. Ceremonial marching basics include formation, attention, alignment, left and right facing movements, flanking movements, forward march, mark time, halt, and turns. Musicians are assigned positions in the formation based on instrument size and ability to project sound. To increase ceremonial music's effectiveness, group instruments with similar musical parts or timbres together to the maximum extent practical. Piccolos may be placed on either flank of the band in proximity to the trumpets. Place euphoniums within the center or right of center file to prevent the instrument's bell from masking the drum major's or conductor's signals. Place French horns so that their sound projects into the center of the band. Place trombones in the front rank to allow free movement of slides without hindering other marchers. Place sousaphones so that their bells do not obstruct other musicians' views of the drum majors or conductor's signals, usually in the last rank. Place the percussion directly in front of the sousaphone rank with the bass drum in the far right file. Two bass drummers can also be used, if desired, with one positioned on each flank of the drum rank. The guide file is the center file of the band on which members of each rank align. If there's an even number of files, the guide file is the file to the right of center as seen from within the band. The band member in the front of the guide file has the responsibility of maintaining proper distance from the drum major. The remaining guide file band members are responsible for maintaining a two-step interval directly behind the band member in front of them. Non-guide file band members in the front rank are responsible for maintaining a two-step interval from each other left or right of the guide file. The two-step interval is measured from heel to heel when in a stationary position. Training tip. Band members are not commanded to flank together while performing. To ensure alignment before and after the pivot, band members are aligned by insteps rather than heels. The remaining band members are responsible for keeping rank alignment with their guide file and keeping their file straight front to back. Band members assume the position of attention on the command fall in or band attention. To come to attention, bring your heels together sharply, on line with your toes pointing out equally, forming a 45 degree angle. Rest the weight of your body evenly on the heels and balls of both feet. Keep your legs straight without locking your knees. Hold your body erect with your hips level, your chest lifted and arched, and your shoulders squared. Keep your head erect and your face straight to the front so the alignment of your head and neck is vertical. If your arm is not holding an instrument, make sure it hangs straight without stiffness. Curl your fingers so that the tips of your thumbs are alongside and touching the first joint of your forefingers. Keep your thumbs straight along the seams of your trouser leg with the first joint of your fingers touching the trousers. Remain silent and do not move unless otherwise directed. Alignment is fundamental to the appearance of the marching band. The drum major aligns the band first by file, then by rank. The drum major moves to a point directly in front of the left flank file and performs the band alignment signal. Each band member in the file aligns on the drum major's mace and the band member to the front. The drum major checks each file's alignment, correcting the position of anyone not properly aligned. After aligning the file, the drum major executes a left face, marches two 26-inch steps forward, halts, and executes a right face. The drum major repeats the alignment for each file. Cover. Training tip. Straight diagonals are the result of proper spacing and alignment. 
Aligning to the diagonal will not always correct the formation. A crooked diagonal tells the band member that spacing, alignment, or both are incorrect. It does not tell the band member which. After aligning the last file, the drum major executes a left face, marches two 26 inch steps forward, halts, executes a right face, and commands Dress right! Dress! When the drum major commands dress right, dress, those not in the right file turn their head and eyes to the right. They align themselves on the drum major and the band member to the right when directed to do so. The drum major then marches forward to a position online with the first rank, halts, and executes a right face. Band members in the right file continue to face forward. The drum major checks the rank's alignment, correcting the position of anyone not properly aligned. After dressing the rank, the drum major executes a left face, marches two 26 inch steps forward, and executes a right face. The drum major repeats this procedure to align each rank. Yes. After aligning the last rank, the drum major executes a right face, marches the appropriate distance past the first rank, executes a left face, and commands Ready, front. At the command front, the band members turn their head and eyes forward. On the mace signal or verbal command mark time march, raise your left foot alongside the right foot and begin to march in place. Raise each foot alternately. The bottom of your heel is approximately boot top high. Your foot should hang naturally as it's lifted with toes angled downward and oriented forward. Keep your arms at the sides of your body as in the position of attention, but do not let your leg motion move your arms. There is no arm swing when marking time. Training tip. Be mindful of tempo and drift when you mark time. Avoid a tendency to rush the tempo. The halt from mark time is executed in two counts on the command or mace movement. To halt, mark time for two final counts by planting the right foot on the ground and bringing the left foot in line with the right. Then assume the position of attention with toes at a 45 degree angle. Army bands march with a step size of 26 inches. A step is the distance from one heel to the other heel. To execute a forward march from the halt, the drum major gives the mace signal or verbal command, forward, march. On the preparatory command forward, tighten the core of your body and prepare to push off with your right foot. To maintain proper form, resist the natural tendency to lean forward. On the command of execution, march, wait one count, then step forward 26 inches leading with your left foot. This first step tends to be shorter, so aggressively continue marching with full 26 inch steps, keeping your head and eyes fixed to the front. March from the waist down to ensure the body does not move from side to side. Swing your arms in a natural motion without exaggeration or bending of your elbows. This equates to about nine inches straight to the front and six inches straight to the rear of your trouser seams. Do not permit your arm swing to curve in front of the body. Keep your fingers curled as in the position of attention so they just clear your trousers. To execute a half step from the forward march, the drum major gives the verbal or mace command, half step, march. On the signal of execution, march, step forward 13 inches, execute one additional 26 inch step with the right foot, then with the left foot, continue marching with 13 inch steps. Keep the arms at the sides of your body as in the position of attention. To resume marching with the 26 inch step from the half step, the drum major signals forward march as the left foot strikes the marching surface. On the signal of execution, bring the right foot forward alongside the left foot, toes together for one count. Then continue marching with a 26 inch step. This action is referred to as the stop step. Flanking movements help ensure that all band members execute the change of direction in the same manner. Training tip. Army bands do not perform flanking movements as a unit, 
but they contain skills needed for executing marching movements. Learning these skills also teaches the importance of dress and alignment when marching. Changing the direction of a band in a fluid and precise manner depends on making left turns, right turns, counter marches, and guide turns with precise movements. The drum major signals a left turn and pivots to the left after the signal of execution. The drum major marches forward until reaching the appropriate number of steps past the first band member in the left file. On the signal of execution, the left file executes a marked time until the lead band member in the file to the immediate right pivots to the left. Two steps after the lead band member to the right pivots, the next member pivots to the left on the ball of the right foot, then continues to march at a full step in the new direction. Note, the first band member in any file should not take a step forward to execute the flanking movement. Instead, that band member should turn 90 degrees laterally from the point of marking time. This allows the subsequent ranks to arrive at the pivot point in the appropriate number of steps. All other band members in the left file stop forward movement on the right foot and execute a mark time until the file to the right steps off. Two steps after the file to the right steps off, each band member steps off at a full step, then pivots to the left on the ball of the right foot two steps after the band member in front then continues to a full step in the new direction. Note that upon assuming the mark time and prior to any flanking movements, dress is to the file to your left. Once band members execute a flanking movement, they should resume alignment to the guide file. On the signal of execution, the first band member on the right file continues to march at a full step, stops forward movement on the right foot two steps after the file to the left stops, and marks time for four counts while the conductor turns. Two steps after the conductor turns, the band member pivots to the left on the ball of the right foot and continues to march at a full step in the new direction. All other members of the right file continue to march forward at a full step after the signal of execution. Each band member stops forward movement on the right foot two steps after the file to the left stops and guides to the left, temporarily aligning themselves with other band members in the newly formed rank, brings the left foot even with the right foot, and marks time for four counts. Each band member then steps off at a full step, pivots to the left on the ball of the right foot two steps after the band member in front pivots, and continues to march at a full step in the new direction. The first band member in each of the inner files stops forward movement on the right foot two steps after the file to the left stops, brings the left foot even with the right foot, and marks time while the band members to the right execute the turn. Two steps after the lead band member in the file to the immediate right turns, the band member pivots to the left on the ball of the right foot, and continues to march at a full step in the new direction. The guide file will be to the far left until the entire rank comes back in line, at which time the alignment returns to the guide file. Those not first in the inner files while guiding left stop forward movement on the right foot two steps after the file to the left stops and mark time while the file or files to the right continue. Two steps after the file to the right steps off, each band member steps off at a full step, pivots to the left on the ball of the right foot two steps after the band member in front, and continues to march at a full step in the new direction. The guide will be to the far left until the entire rank comes back in line, at which time the alignment returns to the guide file. The drum major signals a right turn and pivots to the right after the signal of execution. Note. The signal of execution for a right turn is given on the right foot. The drum major then marches forward until reaching the appropriate number of steps past the first band member in the right file. The drum major then marks time until the front rank is online in the new direction of march and steps off with a full step.
On the signal of execution, the first band member in the right file takes one step and marks time until the band member to the left pivots to the right. The remaining files guide to this right side column until flanking movements begin. Two steps after the lead band member in the file to the immediate left pivots to the right, the band member pivots to the right on the ball of the left foot, then continues to march at a full step in the new direction. All other band members in the right file stop forward movement on the left foot one step after the signal of execution and mark time until the file to the left steps off. The remaining files will guide to this right side column until flanking movements begin. Two steps after the file to the left steps off, the band member steps off at a full step. Two steps after the band member in front pivots, the band member pivots to the right on the ball of the left foot and continues to march at a full step in the new direction while aligning to the guide file. On the signal of execution, the first band member in the left file continues to march at a full step. Two steps after the file to the right stops and begins to mark time, the band member pivots to the right on the ball of the left foot and continues to march at a full step in the new direction. Those band members who are not first in the file continue to march forward at a full step after the signal of execution. Two steps after the band member in front turns, the band member pivots to the right on the ball of the left foot and continues to march at a full step in the new direction. The first band member in any of the inner files stops forward movement on the left foot two steps after the file to the right stops and marks time until the band member to the left turns. Two steps after the lead band member to the immediate left file turns, the next member pivots to the right on the ball of the left foot and continues to march at a full step in the new direction. The guide is to the far right until the entire rank comes back in line, at which time the alignment returns to the guide file. While guiding right, those who are not first in the inner file stop forward movement on the left foot two steps after the file to the right stops and mark time while the file to the left continues. Each band member steps off with a full step two steps after the file to the left steps off. Two steps after the band member in front turns, each member pivots to the right on the ball of the left foot and continues to march at a full step in the new direction. The guide will be to the far right until the entire rank comes back in line, at which time the alignment returns to the guide file. To execute a reversible countermarch, the drum major gives the preparatory signal and marks time until the first rank comes online. When the entire band has completed the countermarch, the drum major signals forward march and executes the stop step with the band. When the drum major gives the command of execution, the front rank takes one more 26 inch full step and immediately executes two consecutive left flanks and continues marching at the half step. Training tip The reversible countermarch forces the guide file to shift between the center two files. To avoid collisions, trombone players executing a countermarch while playing must quickly bring their horns down to ready instrument while executing the first flanking movement. This is done while pivoting on the right foot. The horn returns to playing position on the first right foot after completing the flanking movement. When the drum major gives the signal of execution, all ranks other than the front rank take one more 26 inch step and then assume a half step. To execute a countermarch, pivot four counts after the band member in the file ahead. The ranks maintain correct dress and alignment, guiding on the center file of the band throughout the countermarch. To execute a guide turn, the drum major points the mace ferrule, tip first, in the new direction of march. On the command of execution, the drum major assumes a half step and curves toward the new direction of march. 
the drum major adjusts step length as necessary. Once the entire band has completed the turn, the drum major signals forward march, remembering to execute a stop step. Training tip. The drum major gives the forward march signal on the left foot for both the left and right guide turn. The file on the pivot side of the guide turn becomes the guide file. The first band member in the file slowly turns in the direction indicated by the drum major and marches at a reduced step size proportional to the angle of the turn. A 75 degree turn, for example, requires the pivot file to reduce the step dramatically to only a few inches, but a slight guide turn may dictate using nearly the full 26 inch step. The first band member in the file continues to march at the appropriate step size until all members of the rank have assumed a new direction of march, then resumes marching at a full step once the drum major gives the signal to execute the stop step. Those not first in the guide file shorten or lengthen their steps as needed to turn at the approximate point that the lead band member began to turn. Each continues to march at the appropriate step size until all members of the rank have assumed the new direction of march. They then resume marching at a full step once the drum major gives the forward march signal. The lead band members in other files turn in the direction of the drum major's raised mace while maintaining proper distance from the guide file. These members will shorten or lengthen step size to stay dressed on the guide file as well. Resume marching at a full step once the drum major gives the forward march signal, remembering to execute the stop step. Band members in other files begin turning at the approximate point that the lead band member began to turn, shortening or lengthening steps to stay dressed to the guide file. Resume marching at a full step once the drum major gives the forward march signal, remembering to execute the stop step. A sound off is an optional part of a review ceremony. The drum major commands sound off and conducts the downbeat of the sound off chords. After playing the sound off chords, the band steps off playing a march. The drum major signals a left turn to march the band in front of the troops. At the far end of the troop formation, the drum major signals a counter march and marches the band back down the line of troops. At the appropriate time, the drum major signals a right turn and a counter march to return the band to its starting position. When the band reaches its starting position, the drum major signals mark time and halt. At an appropriate place in the music, the drum major signals the seven count cutoff, commands sound off, directs the downbeat of the sound off chords again, signals a cutoff, then brings instruments down.
Once the commander of troops directs the formation to pass in review, the drum major commands, Automatic sequence. Right. Pace. Forward. March. The band marches to a position that enables it to move straight forward onto the line of march without turning. The drum major then commands, Mark time. March. Band. Pull. Upon receiving the command of execution, halt, the band automatically executes a halt in two counts, a left face in the next two counts, and brings instruments up in three counts while the drum major simultaneously signals instruments up. When the band has completed the automatic sequence, the drum major turns his head to the left and extends his left arm to signal the first unit commander that the band is ready. The first unit commander is located to the immediate left of the band. Upon receiving the ready signal from the drum major, the unit commander will issue the next command. Right turn, forward, march. On the command march, the drum major signals the downbeat and the band steps off playing. The band follows the prescribed route for the pass in review. When the last rank of the band is approximately six steps past the ready front marker, the drum major signals three left turns in sequence. The drum major halts the band when it's facing and centered on the reviewing stand, then executes change post with the conductor. When the last element of troops executes ready front, the conductor signals to the drums to go to cadence, then executes a seven count cutoff. Instruments remain in the playing position while the percussion section plays an eight bar cadence. On the first downbeat following the cadence, the band begins to play the official version of the army song. After the introduction, the conductor and drum major change post.
the drum major signals forward march at the second verse, followed by a left turn signal. At the conclusion of the army song, the drum major cuts the march and the percussion section starts a stick tap as the band leaves the field, concluding the band's part of the ceremony. Upon receiving the go-ahead signal, the drum major directs, Drummers on a cadence, forward, march! And the band steps off on the downbeat of the cadence. Training tip. Alternately, the drum major can use the mace command to signal forward march. The most frequently seen mace commands during a parade are the roll-off and cut-off commands. The roll-off is an 8-beat drum signal played by the percussion section to prepare the band to play a march. To give the preparatory signal, the drum major thrusts the mace upward until the right arm is fully extended with the ball in the air on the first beat of an 8-bar drum cadence. On beat 1 of bar 8, the drum major thrusts the mace downward. On the next phrase, the percussion section plays a roll-off. The band members execute count one of instruments up on the first beat of the roll-off and move to the prepare to play position on beat three. At the end of the four bar roll-off, band members begin playing the prescribed march. In this program of instruction, you've seen precise details about areas of expertise, ceremonial band basics, army band turns, and parades and ceremonial marching. The modular nature of this program enables you to review any portion of it repeatedly to help you master the skills associated with ceremonial band performance. With your dedication and diligence, the Army Music Program will continue to be a strong source for building enthusiasm, maintaining motivation, and increasing devotion to duty through ceremonial traditions.